For this episode of the Xamarin Show, I have Steven on, and he is going to tell us about a couple of mind-blowing concepts, the multi-converter and the variable multi-value converter. I mean, it sounds interesting. It's going to be interesting. Make sure to tune in. Welcome everyone to the Xamarin Show. I'm your host, Gerald, and today I have Steven with the unpronounceable last name on. It's Tavison. I'm the only one who can pronounce it because we're both from the Netherlands. How are you doing, Steven? I am doing great. How about you? Awesome, awesome. Yes, I'm doing fantastic, thank you. So how are things over there? You're really close by. How's the weather? Is it snowing right now? We just had a little bit of snow, which was fun. Right? We did, we had snow for like, I don't know, five hours and then it was all yeah. gone again something like that <laughs> I, I managed to build a snowman so that was that was awesome but other than that you know business is usable um yeah so let's talk about more interesting things i think today you're going to teach me because i don't really know what it does exactly uh but we're going to talk about of course the examiner community toolkit and it has something that is called the multi-converter am i right that is entirely correct it has actually two kinds of converters that are multiple in, in nature. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about both of them, I would say. Awesome. So, so explain to me, what does it do? Yeah, so the, the multi-converter, you could basically, if, if you know the concept of a converter, which is it takes an input value, it converts it into a different value, typically used in MVVM through a data binding. Um, and the multi-converter, what it actually does is it's it builds up sort of like a pipeline of converters. You can change. Okay, so but together. let me stop you for a little bit because I know a lot yes. of people are kind of struggling with like the basic MVVM and data binding kind of stuff. So a value converter, I know that one um, does. You know, you bind it because you have that view model backing property. So you say binding, and then you put in the property of your view model. Um, but that is like the one type. So that is maybe. I don't know, that is, what is it actually? It's it's maybe a enum or something like that, um, or just a color or some complex object. And you need to convert that to a string, right? Because on screen, it's only going to be strings eventually that's going to be shown. So that converter, you can, you can attach that to that as well. Um, and you can convert that complex object or whatever you have into the right um, thing that you want to show on screen, right? So that's, that's basically, um, uh, yeah, a bit of you, an you, of what it does. you <laughs> basically you, you get an object in and that object can be anything and you can convert it into something else. So if you have, like you said, a color or maybe a string that needs to be a color, that's what you typically would use a converter for. Right, right, right. Okay, so now multi-converter, what, what does that do? Multi-converter, the name suggested already. Um, it basically builds up a pipeline of chaining multiple converters together. So for example, if you have a object that needs to be cast into a different type of object or into a Boolean, for example, like if a certain object exists or is not null, then that Boolean should return true. Um, and then you want to do something else with that Boolean, like make it into a color, for example. So what the multi-converter allows you to do is to take one input value, push it through that multi-converter, which has different steps in it uh, to do all these different conversions and then you get your your end object that you're looking for okay so it basically goes through a couple of different converters to actually come to to an end result basically yes yes okay basically. Uh, maybe it's so you said you had two i don't know if it's is it a good idea to maybe just show the thing that will probably yeah. make it a little bit more clear yeah let's all right let's, let's pull that. up let's pull up that demo so what I have here on, on screen is a multi-converter as, as described. Um, and it, it kind of hooks into a different part that we uh, have in the toolkit, which is state layout, which has a whole different episode on it. Um, but what it basically does here is it takes a state, which is something inherent to that state layout. Um, and we check whether or not the current state of something is loading. That's what happens right here. Um, and then we invert the value of whatever comes out of that. So if it is loading, then we return false because we invert it. Um, and if it's not loading, we return true because that's how inverted Booleans basically, that's how that converter works. And what we can do with that is we can tell something to be visible or not, depending on whether or not it's loading. Um, and that's what that is used for right here. So if you look at this, for example, we have an add button um, we have a list 
And if this list is loading, we don't show the add button because it's still busy doing something, right? Um, right. So instead of having to write some piece of code that says um, is loading on a Boolean, maybe somewhere in the background, or having to check all the different states that we're in, we can also just check are we loading and then invert that. So that that's just one use case for this. I mean, there are okay, numerous. So that is really cool. So this this first, so yeah, okay. So like we said, it goes through a pipeline. So this state to Boolean converter, is that something that is built into the, the toolkit or is that something custom yes. for this project? Yes, that okay, is cool. built so, into the toolkit. Okay, cool. So state to Boolean and then it's, so basically with the state to compare parameter, you say, Whenever the state is loading in this case, then the value returned from that is true. Yes. And then uh, it goes into so the true value goes into the inverted bool converter, and then it becomes false. Yes. Or that it is, is exactly loading, how that works. false is coming out, and then it will become true. That is exactly how that works. Awesome. And you can see you can see here on the show secondary button property, that's where state is bound using that converter. And because we cannot bind these two converters directly right here um, in, in this single converter property. We had to make a multi-converter to do all these steps one by one. Yes, basically. because typically you would just could put in there one converter. So, you know, you yeah. have, and inside of that converter, you would have to write all the logic for, is it loading, uh, invert the Boolean, do all the things into one converter. And now you can just chain a couple of converters inside of a multi-converter and do not write any code, but just you know, chain those multiple together to get the same result without writing any code, but just using XAML. Yep, just using XAML. Super cool. Exactly. Super cool. Awesome. What else? You what else? Give me more. I had more. One more. Um, that is actually called the variable multi-value converter, and it's a name that is well, it's a name. Naming things is hard, right? Um, <laughs> what we have in, in Xamarin Forms out of the box is the multi-binding, which has been added recently, actually, um, which allows you to bind multiple things to a single multi-binding. And if all of these things are true, or maybe one of them is true, um, depends on your use case, obviously, you can have the entire binding do something, right? So what needs to happen here uh, out of the box from Xamarin is you need to add a converter um, that tells you, is it all of these that need to be true? Is it one of these? Is it, we don't know, right? Out of the box, the multi-binding doesn't really know. Um, so in our toolkit, we added a variable multi-value converter, which helps you with that scenario because that doesn't come out of the box. And what it does is you add the converter, you have a condition type, which you can see the options for right here, which is all, uh, any of them could be true, an exact number need to be true, greater than or less than a certain number need to be true, or none of them need to be true. Um, so that basically allows you to, t to say if exactly one of these is true, then it's okay, let's move on with this binding. Um, or you can say all of them need to be true. So that way you can do pretty powerful stuff because Usually, um, binding multiple values to a single thing, it, yeah, it, it has been hard until this multi-binding came along. Yeah, well, this is, I think this needs some explanation. Well, maybe you need to rewatch this video. That's always a good uh, good idea to do. Uh, but this is, if you are doing this for the first time, I think this needs some um, wrapping in your head to, to actually let it land there. But this is very powerful stuff. So you cannot um, write any code and still get this multi-converter, all these bindings in here. Um, that is really cool stuff. Yeah, and because it's the multi-binding is already in the box, so there is loads of documentation for what the multi-binding does. In the box um, means Xamarin Forms in this case, right? In the Xamarin Forms box, right. yes, I should say that. So the Xamarin Forms team has docs on what this thing does, and they also provide code for this variable multi-value converter in the docs. Um, but instead of having that in your project, we decided to onboard it into the toolkit. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, so that way the Xamarin Community Toolkit perfectly complements Xamarin Forms 5. Xamarin Forms 5 has a lot of documentation. The Xamarin Community Toolkit has a lot of documentation. So, you know, everything is there. All the stuff is right there for you to use. Uh, you can find this project, uh, which is an actual project from Stephen. It's called the MVP app for Microsoft MVPs. It's some kind of companion app. Doesn't matter, but it has a lot of cool technical concepts. 
You could find the link in the show notes below. Um, also go to aka.ms slash XCT for the exam community toolkit repository, all the links, everything that you want to know in the show notes. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, do all the things. And thank you so much, Stephen, for coming on. Um, and I'll be seeing you for the next show, hopefully. Yeah, thanks for having me.